Talking about movies, the Gold Coast Lounge is premiering tomorrow and I have the cast and crew and everyone here. The director is here with us as well and so we're going to be talking about all the kissing scenes, which is what we're talking about. I mean, hello. <laughs> Pascal, okay, how are you doing? I'm doing Why are you looking at me like, but you, wait, you kiss someone in the movie? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like I said something out of the blue? No problem. How did it go? Wasn't it? The movie went well. No, no, how did it go? <laughs> uh, <that's laughs> Who did you kiss? Zanel? Yeah, I kiss an L. It's not a big deal. I just won't say same. <laughs> and Raquel is here as well. Good to have you all. Happy New Year. Did you guys plan to wear wipes? No. In celebration of the kisses. But what, why did you? <laughs> hey, I'm just asking. Uh, why did you ask Raquel? Did she I'm coming to, to Raquel. Pink? No, don't worry. I'm coming to her. I have special questions for her. Let me ask you two first. Okay. Speaking yeah. of which, uh, um, don't dive it. No, I'm not. White, yeah. Okay. Close. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, we have a dress code. The cast and crew will be wearing right. black and white yep. oh. at the premiere. It's a black and white movie, so at the premiere, we'll, we'll come in black and white. I can't even get the memo then. For the premiere. No, no, no. Yeah, but still, no. we're getting ready for the premiere. No, oh, no, no, no. I'm wearing black. Three I got the memo? No, 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 no. Raquel, where have you been? Here. You've been away for many years. What, five years? No. <laughs> Why five years? It's, it feels like you've been away for a very long time. Aww. We miss you. Aww. Why did you go quiet? Oh, why did you go quiet? <laughs> Sentimental. I know. You know what? I had to choose between being on screen and spending time with my family. Okay. And I was explaining to somebody yesterday that you get to an age where siblings start to grow apart. Your parents are growing. They get sick. Mm -hmm. And so I realized I was spending so much time. Well, I didn't. I wasn't trying to be a celebrity, but yeah, but I was spending a lot of time in the limelight. Yeah, yeah, and. I was just thinking to myself, if I'm not careful, it's gonna get to a time where I'm still in the limelight and I'll get a call saying, mom is this. And, mm -hmm. and it was that call that I got, um, I think somebody took a picture and I saw a dress that my mom wears and it was a, like a walking stick, like crutches. Mm -hmm. So I called, I said, what is this? And they were like, oh, we forgot to tell you, but mom fell down mm -hmm. and now she can't walk without the crutches. Oh my God. So from that moment, I thought, no, I, I just can't do so all this anymore. Are you saying you anymore. gave up your career completely? I haven't given it up completely, no. I'm okay. back now. You're back? Yes. Full time? My mom is doing How's good. Mom, Everyone yeah. is doing good. So okay. at least I can. Do you think that the break helped you in terms of who you are now as a person? Yes. I started I really posting did. some gospel stuff on Twitter and I was confused. I was like, is Raquel like a <laughs> no, pastor it's, or it's something? Not, no, it's not. I wouldn't say gospel, but I think... I just grew closer to God. Okay. I was reading my Bible a lot. Like mm. we do Bible studies a lot in my house. Okay. And it helped me to know my history, who I am as a woman, who I'm supposed to be, mm. and what my future holds. So that is definitely... So it had nothing to do person. with the comments that were passed about you constantly on social media. The thing is, when you're... The perception people have When you're in the limelight, like, people are going to talk about you. Yeah. I'm not the only one that has had... Um, comments from yeah. negative people okay and before it used to get to me but then when I spent time with my family and I realized that yeah there are people that truly love you mm -hmm. and then you have people that just they don't even know you they just that's that's their job their job yeah. is to just frustrate people yeah. make people unhappy yeah. it made me realize that you know what so when I see a comment I laugh about it and really? I just take it differently. Now let's talk about the movie, don't worry. I'll ask you about the kissing scenes <laughs> again unless I change my mind. So <laughs> tell me what role you played, Ajit. So I played John Donko, um, okay. obviously be the, the lead of, um, for the Gold Coast Lounge, mm. uh, which the movie focuses on. And, you know, it's um, he's done his time in jail because okay. of um, all the wrong reasons why mm. the Gold Coast Lounge is known for. And he's willing to turn on a new page, and mm -hmm. that's where he has um, some kind of um, opposition from other members. Oh, um, I see. Yeah. So that that's, should that's be an role. interesting yeah. role. But yeah. what exactly is the Gold Coast Lounge about, director? Well, well the thing is, the uh, Gold Coast Lounge, uh, the movie is set in post-independent Ghana. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, obviously, you watch the trailer. Obviously, it's not set in uh, these times. It's set decades ago. So fresh from independence, you know, the Gold Coast Lounge itself is a place where people celebrate their freedom and celebrate, you know, being Ghanaian, etc. And the movie is about this family that runs the place, and they've been given an ultimatum by the government to, they've been given three weeks to just clean up the place, okay. step away from their drugs and prostitution, whatever they do mm -hmm. to make the, the money up behind the scenes and actually um, clean up the place. So, 
while they um, trying to implement the new policies, etc. That's when you know some family secrets come in, mm. love triangles, and, and when they discover and they decide to audition a new person to be the face of Gold Coast Lounge, yeah. which is Black Rose, played by Raquel. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's when things start happening. All right, and uh, so basically the movie is a political metaphor. Gold Coast Lounge, that place represents Ghana symbolically, yeah. and the people that run the place represent different Ghanaian politicians or African politicians sure. of different parts of society. Hmm. So um, it's a very fun, sexy, um, action, adventurous, uh, political movie, and uh, you have never seen a movie like it. Good timing, I must say. It's election year. Is it by any way tied to elections? It's tied to everything, okay. Ghana. It's tied to showbiz. It's tied to um, African... Um, identity. Uh, it, it speaks about a lot of things like, um, you know, what it, that does it really mean to be independent? Yeah. Uh, what does it really mean to be um, united as Africans? So um, different topics like tribalism, generational mm. um, differences, okay. all those differences that makes us different. But then how can we use all that and work sure. together? Mm. You know what I mean? And also uh, puts in, into what's it called, the limelight the problems that we have as Africans, the exactly. pride that we have among us, ourselves that separates us or fight amongst mm -hmm. ourselves. And yeah. it's so very funny. do you think you're becoming a politician? Because you've just been campaigning. We I need am. New party, am. Third force. We need one. I am a filmmaker. The Pascal party. <laughs> PP. <laughs> what do you think? Let's launch it here. People are saying I should be a pastor, but then like... You no, know. no, no, be, be a politician and make a JT Anani your enemy. Listen, yeah, you right. win, hands down. All the girls you win. You'll give me All those. But what role did you play? Black Rose? Is yeah, that what's... Black okay. Rose, basically. This is your first movie ever? Yes, my first movie. I see. I've done like stage plays, okay. but this is my first movie. I so, see. Um, was it a good experience? It was. Was it, it was. difficult? It was different. It wasn't difficult. It How was different? just different. How different? <laughs> Did you have to kiss anybody though? Huh. Hey. Oh, this is what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> when I asked yeah. you about yours, you didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the movie has a very beautiful love storyline. Everybody yeah. will just love it. That's The people who have seen the movie, in the private screenings and also yeah. in Nigeria, the love storyline in the movie is absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's just serious. So she didn't answer. Why did you take her answer? I know. Because she wasn't. She, I was. Did she see? Director, did she? Our lead actor, Alphonse Manuel, is not here on this interview. He won Best Actor, by so the way. So you're indirectly telling us that that's the guy she kissed in the movie. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm directly telling you that. Was it good? Just speaking Raquel? for me. Was it good? Was, was it, it good? good was it good? No. Was it good? Anyway, <laughs> let's take a look at the trailer. We'll be back. <laughs> And as long as we're together, we'll be making love forever. And I promise on my honor, I to meet me at the Gold Coast Lounge. 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 And that's the trailer for the Gold Coast Lounge. You've acted in a lot of movies. And by the way, congratulations. You picked up what, eight, eight awards. awards at the Ghana eight Movie eight Awards. Yes. Very interesting. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. you have acted in a lot of movies. Right. How different is this for you? Look, I can, I, I can tell you for a fact that I've never been so pumped up and excited about a movie. Really? Than this one, you know, apart from, let's say, Perfect Picture, which is still showing. Yeah. Um, I need to watch but, that But, you know, um, Gold Coast Lounge is just, you know, I... I, I run out of words um, to because this is what we're, we're looking for. This is what we're hoping for that our industry will, will take on this kind of um, mm. um, 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 you know well-made quality movies yeah. um, to, to really really make a mark out there. Mm. And this is it. I yeah. mean, this is it. You 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 just have to see this movie to you know not just take my words for it. Mm. Um, and so I it's so different um, in terms of execution, in terms of you know, the thought behind it, and what it represents. Yeah. And for me. This is what we're this looking what, for. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. They say that for a lot of us Ghanaians, we wait for someone to tell our story uh, before we all jump on it. I know Pascal is Ivorian, um, uh, well, partly uh, Ivorian yes, as well. Yes. What did it mean for you to be telling the Ghanaian story this way? And why did you even go ahead to do it? Well, the thing is, like, um, 
after eight, nine years in Canada and stuff, coming back, it was very important for me to just, you know, show Africa with our own lenses. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I did it with music videos for quite a few years. Yeah. And um, I left that so that I used my full creative control and just really tell a story from okay. a naked form. So, uh, because internationally, that's what they want to see. Mm -hmm. And we, um, we planned this ahead for a long period of time. So far, the film has been successful at film festivals. Uh, we, 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 spent, we sent it to Africa International Film yeah. Festival, won a special jury mention award. So nice. we're campaigning, and then in August we'll be sending it to Oscar Commission, uh, to the co oh, committee. Great. So um, yeah, so we're campaigning, we're doing everything we can. We won the eight awards, Ghana Movie Awards, and now the public's gonna see it. And then hopefully um, next year we'll be sending it to um, Oscar um, Academy in Ghana. And then fingers crossed. Fingers and I hope crossed, they don't yes. come back and tell us that it was supposed to be an indigenous language. Hey, whatever. I mean, the, the, the film was mostly in Ghana. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's mostly in Ghana? Yeah, mostly in Ghana. I see. Yeah, there's some there, Jeez, some pigeon, right. whatever, but um, who was the guy? You was the guy. I, I wrote in English and they, they, they just spoke the guy. <laughs> I see, okay, you know. And I'll, I'll tell you something, you know. Um, they, they, they call us some if it's not Kuma Wood, they call us glamour films, etc. Yeah. But no, it's there's no shame in making a film and mm -hmm. with good quality yeah. and with local language, yeah, which you know? is what I think I'm seeing. In That's this exactly one. what this thing should what be. What was it like coming up with a song because you also won an award? Technically, best what song? Best, best original music, yeah. yes. Okay, okay, congratulations by Thank the way. How you. easy or difficult was it, you know, coming up with a song for this? The music, okay, Pascal wrote the music. Okay. And I just recorded it. And yeah. it was, it came quite easy for me because yeah. I because do music anyway. Do. Yeah. Well. So Are you going to be doing more movies now? If the right roles come up, yeah, why not? They left something out. They have to pay you well, though. And they yeah. do have, yeah, yeah, that's true. So tell true. Pascal that the next movie he has uh, to double absolutely, it. Absolutely, yeah. Or yeah. triple it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, then you can cast me. Who doesn't like money? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not going to kiss anybody. No kiss uh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> None of that at all. But it's premiering tomorrow. Tell yes. me all about that. So, so tomorrow is the day. We've been happening for a while. Tomorrow at Accra Mall, 7 p.m., 9.20 p.m., Gold Coast Lounge. Yeah. And the next day, we'll be there at West Hills Mall, 7 p.m., 9 p.m., okay. Gold Coast Lounge. Certainly, and we have two tickets to give out to our viewers. Uh, we're going to put out some questions on social media at TV3 Ghana, uh, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And so go on there and quickly try and get the answers right. It will be about the movie. So everything they've talked about here is what we're going to ask you. So if you get it right, then you can pick up these tickets and also get to watch the premiere with these superstars who have joined me here. I'm sure you want to say a few thank yous here and there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I just for me, I just want to say shout out to the whole cast and crew and lead actor Alphonse Menu. Zinel yeah. Zoo, etc. Um, and just everybody that's supporting us, you know. Um, yeah. it, uh, well, I was going to call you Zinel Party. <laughs> yeah. okay. So, what's, um, what's your New Year resolution? Uh, make more money, make my mom proud, my mm. family proud, make more music, yeah. star in more movies. Okay. Hopefully. We're well, waiting for more music. When is the first single coming out this year? Well, we're planning on releasing this a one. song from the movie. Awesome. So that when should that happen happening? within the next few weeks. Okay. Next few days, next few weeks. Great. We're yeah. waiting for it. Yep. Okay. And what about you, Ajit? What's the plan? More babies? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Very Ghanaian of me, right? <laughs> no, What's just, the plan for just, 2020? No, just get better. Um, my mm. skill. And so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some schooling. Oh, you're going back to school now? And, yeah, probably. I see. Yeah. So what happens uh, to your lecturing? You're going to put that on the well, side we'll, for a while? We'll, we'll sort that out. So, okay, yeah. okay. But yeah. more schooling this year. Yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, so I've been speaking to Pascal Aka, who's the director uh, for the Gold Coast Lounge, which is premiering tomorrow. And also Raquel Music is finally back. And Ajete Anan as well. And they all starred in the movie. And so make sure you're at the premiere tomorrow. Again, it's happening, what, at the West Hills? Uh, Accra no, Mall, pardon me. Tomorrow. Okay, so Accra Mall, 9.20 p.m.? 7 p.m., 9.20 p.m. All right. And then just Saturday at West Hills Mall, 7 okay. p.m. and 9.20 p.m. Go you should be Lounge. there. We'll be there, and uh, we'll go support as well.